Today's story is about Bulgaria's most famous monastery. My name is Thais. I'm a full-time travel vlogger and I love going to unique places. Jan's desperate for a hot drink because our hands are about to fall off. My nose, my ears, everything. I can see it in my skin, how cold it is. And look, <sighs> anyway, it's very cold, but we're finding all these abandoned hotels. Predominant, most places I've been traveling to, obviously during COVID, uh, everything's shut or abandoned. Buildings are empty. It's like a ghost town. It's like the whole world just switched off. But it's really interesting. Anyway, maybe we'll have to go down the bottom of the hill down and get another hot chocolate from that lovely lady and sit by her fireplace. Ooh. Okay, we'll, we'll go for a little walk to say we did and then maybe have to go back. Definitely not dressed for this weather. Dan's come to Bulgaria without even a jacket. <laughs> And neither have I actually, I've only got my summer jacket, my mustard jacket. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Yeah, go to a warmer climate. Mom, Morocco's nice this time of year. Egypt's nice this time of year. So I've heard. <laughs> Rilla Monastery is undoubtedly beautiful. Its surroundings are magnificent and even the drive up here had my attention glued on every twist and turn. I'm an Australian traveling through the Balkans and for the next two weeks, I'll be in Bulgaria. The drive and the scenery was nothing short of spectacular. It starts gentle with warm Bulgarian hospitality, a cozy fireplace, hot chocolate among the forest. This story takes an unlikely turn and one that has left me a little spooked. Cool tree house. Hi, hi, come on. Do you want maybe a hot drink or something? Come on, do you have hot chocolate? Oh, love it, look at this place, it's so cute. This lovely lady's making us the hot chocolate but she doesn't have chocolate, it's cacao. So hot milk and cacao. Ooh, lovely. Okay, she's, oh, I have to go and see something. What, what is it, what am I looking for? The host has told me to come with my camera and have a look. Oh, with the fireplace. <laughs> I have to get my drink. I have, I bring Dan. Oi, look at this. Ooh. And of course there's a bear and a rifle. Cozy. Restaurant, this is probably normally full. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And she's brought my hot chocolate. Okay, that's the door to the left. There's the church. Which I'll take a have a look a better look tomorrow. There's a corridor and basic room in a monastery. I love it. Here's my bed. Bed number one. Bed number two. Heating. Oh yeah. Check out the bathroom. Oh, it's clean. <laughs> Inside the monastery, so we've got obviously Mary and baby Jesus, and over here, some guy riding a horse. Basic setup, basic bed, some heating, a table, a wardrobe. Perhaps let's have a look. There's nobody in there. Just, just double check. There's no. Weirdos, weirdness in there. It's empty, it's basic. Just happy that there's nobody in there. The light's old. At least they got electricity. And the bathroom's kind of modern. And we can't turn this heating on. Gas heating. So we just turned the boiler on here. There's no nozzle to turn it up or down. Wow. 
I love it. A night in a monastery. This is the room in the monastery and I really like it. It's very basic. It costs about 20 Australian a night to stay here. Of course, we could have gone somewhere more luxurious and with a spa set up, but no, I was strong and adamant that this is what I wanted. And uh, it's gonna be a good experience. I'm tired anyway. I'm just gonna have a hot shower and jump in the bed and fall asleep. Very cool. I think that, that will be my bed for tonight. What do you think? Oh, I don't like single beds, but he'll do. My eyes are never great in low light. I found the visibility to be terrible. It was late and it felt like there was not a soul in sight. I think we were the only people there and it's the type of place you'll be so impressed with. However, it's not exactly inviting. All right, we've got to go up another level. This is a monastery, late at night. Ooh, hope I don't see any ghosts. Actually, you'd be used to seeing ghosts. Wow, we don't even know where the room is. It's freezing cold, look. Can you see the smoke, the steam coming out? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. The security guard is helping us. Wow, it's really kind of eerie here. Dark. It's very cool though. Love it. Shh. Eventually greeted by what I believe was a security guard that didn't speak any English. Inside the monastery walls was like nothing I've ever seen. I swear I was in a movie set for the next Batman Returns, or I could have been teleported to the darkest depths of Asia. I was so surprised by my eyes and what they were seeing. Here we go. Good morning. First thing we see out our front door is the monastery. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Nice white, long, wide halls. It kind of reminds me of a school. Maybe Frensham or PLC that I went to. How beautiful is that? So that must be the original. And then they've gone and built this incredible structure, this wall protecting it, surrounding it. I survived a night in the monastery in Bulgaria. So no heating in the room either, lots of blankets and it's really cold up here. I've got up extra early just to see what it's like. So you can see my face is a bit puffy from the sleep this morning. That's how early it is. And it's peaceful and I absolutely love it. Because out in the back, you can actually see the mountains and how high it is. I'm not sure how high we are in terms of the altitude, not far at all. But yeah, there's the old monastery. And they've obviously built kind of like a, a wall, a hotel around it. It's not a hotel, it is a monastery. There's hardly anyone here. I guess the profession isn't very popular anymore. The church behind me doesn't allow any photos or video, obviously. Pretty standard for any, any religious place or place of importance. Um, but I can tell you it's gorgeous. It's very dark, very full of trinkets and gold and candles. Uh, very pretty. Pleased to say I made it through the night. I couldn't wait to explore the grounds that morning. With the only place to get breakfast closed, the only shops open were oddly selling the most expensive souvenirs. Dan's just found a gift shop, he's a bit excited. It kind of ruins the authenticity of the um, mushroom, I think. Oh, I love it. It's one of the prettiest gift shops I've ever seen. <laughs> Maybe it's authentic and it's paint, painted from here, not from China. Wow. Well, well, do you put a price on God or is he priceless? I put a price on God. The church needs to make money. Which one was it? 120? 
<laughs> 88 live. That's 88 Australian dollars. I found out later that one night in a monastery was the same price as a decent hotel in Bulgaria. But what's the fun in that? Towards the end of my visit, I was asked to put the camera away. Thankfully, I didn't have to delete anything. Of course, I knew taking photos or videos in any place of worship was forbidden, but I'm glad I managed to capture some of it so that I can share this story with you. I hope you can join me on more adventures. Until next time, ciao.